your energy is please do me a favor like share subscribe hit the bell notification there it is to be notified when i post a new video remember red hearts you made it through purple hearts it resonates green hearts you're working on it yellow hearts you rock with me got my six me to have my back because i have yours we're going to see where your emotions are right now you are overwhelmed and again take what resonates leave what doesn't overwhelmed but empowered at the same time so overwhelmed should be swamped inundated burdened uh, powerful burdened and then empowered is hmm, this is too many emotions right here so at some point you're overwhelmed because you you feel empowered but at the same time powerless you're angry about feeling lonely and sad so um we have irritated irritated is the overall energy when it comes to this read you have mixed emotions you have mixed emotions when it comes to a situation this could be a relationship this could be a job this could be any type of energy but when it comes to your true emotions we're going to go ahead and pull the deck so at some point the overwhelmed and empowered it's like you're powerful you're capable and you're strong you know that but at the same time you're power you feel powerless when it comes to a situation and you also get mad at yourself or uh very furious because you are feeling alone and sad at the same time which causes irritation so an irritated person is in their queen of swords um in the reverse which is um overly emotional easily influenced but also cold-hearted at the same time so these feelings make you um second guess yourself but it also makes you look at everybody else like they can't be trusted so i'm gonna pull from the true emotional deck uh to see what comes out yeah, a fairy tale. You feel like you're living a fairy tale when it comes to you being overwhelmed and, and empowered at the same time. You know, it's like phony trickster and illusion. The powerless and angry energy comes with affairs or workplace affairs or feeling like um, when it comes to a work situation that you can't trust the people around you or you feel less than um, when it comes to work and the energies that surround work but when it comes to feeling lonely and sad um again like i say take what resonates leave what doesn't you know you have to understand that you feel isolated and alienated and it's if it says friendless here and it says unhappy joyless and rejection when it comes to uh uh being sad uh, yeah, because at some point with this energy, there are no strings that are attached and, you know, people can sweet talk you all you want and you know it's fake energy. Again, phony trickster and illusion. But at that same time, you just need to find a ground or, or some type of energy to ground yourself because the no strings attached are you always are dealing with um, phony energies that come into your life. So at home, you can feel overwhelmed and empowered at the same time because you are able to live this fairy tale and pay your bills and kind of scoot your way through but you feel powerless and angry at work because you've reached these goals you're able to pay your bills but you feel also at the same time you're doing this for everyone else and not really with the things that you want to do and so it's causing you to feel lonely and sad because nothing about these energies make you feel like there are um there's stability in the situation or there always is some type of strings attached when it comes to you know dealing with the um home work life situation work home life situation I'm, i hope i'm saying that right but i'm gonna pull from this deck i'm going to sooner than later um pull the books out and put them up so I can see exactly what it is but when it feels when it comes to feeling overwhelmed temperance you need balance when it comes to this home life situation temperance energy just lets you know that uh you need to find balance you need to find balance there is a situation to where you have to um um you have to look at the long term situation is this a fairy tale are you living beyond your means um what is it that you can cut out you know because the overwhelmed part is you come home the house isn't clean you come home the bills are due you're you're trying to get everyone else to help you with it but at the same time you are happy because the balance is is that you're able to pay them but you just feel like um it is not um something that um, how do I want to say this? You feel like it's something that you're doing just to for the sake of others, not really this, the things that you want to do. So, a for instance, 
I said A, for instance, you move to a situation to where you are basically um, paying more than what you really can afford. You know that you have car situations, you have the groceries, you have everything that um, basically um, makes you feel overwhelmed. And then when you get to work, you're power, you feel powerless and angry because there is someone, Ten of Wands, yeah, the burdens, there is someone who um, is in your workplace that makes you feel like there's burdens or um, um, how do I, how do they make you feel like um, they're trying to kiss ass to the boss, if that makes sense, and excuse my language, but they make you feel that way. They make you feel like, you know, you have, um, I'm trying to, um, trying to feel like, I'm trying to see how I felt, okay, that your, the responsibilities that you have, that they can do them better. Because I was, I'm, I'm trying to see how I felt um, one point when I stopped working um, and when I became self-employed, I didn't like the kiss ass is that word. And I keep saying that, but I'm not going to say it anymore. But I didn't like those type of people here that, um, you know, behind your back, they were cool. If you hear the garage opening um, um, underneath uh, the garage, uh, I'm above, above the garage. <laughs> but um, if, okay, so at work, you feel like you're doing all, you know, you, you did all of this stuff and you're doing all this stuff, but there's some one person that comes behind your back and says, well, you know, uh, cancer was late today. Um, and you know that basically they could do better than what you can. And then when it comes to feeling lonely and sad and no strings attached, um, my sons are going to come in here, so I'm going to have to pause it in a second. They always come and say hello to me, but you're, you're going to have to, you know, turn around and yeah, two of cups energy, look at things when it comes to your relationship hermit energy you're doing a lot of soul searching so here's the reason why you're irritated a lot of people sweet talk you so this same person is the one that is in your face uh talking to you when you know that they're behind your back talking about you and then this here is energy that they sweet talk you when it comes to hold on a second let's go to when it when it comes to um lonely and sad no strings attached it's because here it is you're making everything it's like a you know you're making everything turn the uh, rolling with it going with the flow and at the same time when it comes to relationship situationships you're not in a happy uh situation and you know the no strings attached is somebody that does not want the same thing that you want but the only thing you really want is realness the only thing you want is honesty the only thing you really want is you know support and so that's where you are setting out and you're going soul searching hermit energy the hermit energy is basically um you meditating on it you you finding a way you looking for other answers um and going either this could be you going away to uh meditate or to um on a vacation or you go home and you just close your door and sit still and think about the things that you go through on a daily basis and ask yourself why and ask yourself why do you have to do this alone or why is it this that you know there's all kind of adversity at work and then you come home you're living beyond your means but you're doing it to make others happy so that's kind of how I see that energy and then we're going to go ahead and pull from tarot to clarify the temperance ten of wands two of cups and the will of fortune so again you know living a fairy tale living a facade you know knowing that you come home and um you're either living with somebody who is fake you guys my niece had her baby so which is my great niece so she's not in the shop so i gotta make do until she comes home uh goes back to work i mean so phony trickster and illusion so when it comes to finding balance in a situation you're either dealing with somebody who's okay with living beyond their means and all you want is the foundation that's why you question love and you question this because this is not what you want this is you don't want to live beyond your means you want to build a foundation you want things to grow and you want to be able to have the stability that you need in a relationship you see the house back there this is your land and this is a part of your land where if any wheel is going to go around there's going to be an ebb and flows of life you want it to be the the well that gives brings electricity to your home and not something that's causing you sadness because you know uh you feel overwhelmed and 
you know, at the same time, you know, maybe everybody else seems like you got the whole world in your hands, but you know that's a phony illusion that you're not happy and you're doing it for others' causes. And maybe it could be because your kids are in school. They go to a certain school because of activities. They go to, you know, certain school because of, you know, for their safety. And so you're like, I have to figure out uh, a work-life balance and I have to figure out how to balance things out when it comes to certain situations. So we're going to clarify temperance energy. Clarify temperance. Temperance comes with the six of swords and the six of wands energy. So here it is. It's telling you to, you're going to have victory, but you have to walk away from the things that no longer serve you. Sometimes it's okay to humble yourself to say, you know what, or to talk and to say, I can't live this facade anymore. We're going to have to figure out something different. Um, I'm going to need help. I'm going to need you know, some type of uh, uh, security when it comes to this situation because I should feel empowered about having, you know, all of this around here, but I feel like there's no balance. So either you come home, the house isn't clean, you work hard, you do this, you deal with this stuff, which is normal things that normal people go through, but not if you're doing it by yourself and you could be doing it together. And no, I'm not saying... You know, and people are sweet talking to you and you're irritated and you're trying to figure out a way to do things. And so feeling powerless and angry and burdened uh, at work is uh, another thing. So, you know, a lot of the times, you know, it's because somebody is checking on you. Actually, and it's crazy that I say that because I just uh, watched a TikTok. Um, um, yeah. So here it is, the same person. This is the magician and this is the page of wands. Same person, but just with different, more knowledge. Does that make sense? So the Page of Wands, fire energy is, you know, um, freedom, excitement, exploration. But the Page of Wands energy is living in the present moment right now, not worrying about what happened yesterday, not worrying about what's going to happen in the future, living right now and being able to manifest the things that you want. But this is by about being yourself. So feeling powerless and angry about somebody else who's not happy with you because they know you can outperform them but those are the burdens that you think about on top of everything else so knowledge is power and that's where at the same time you're empowered because the position or the situation that you're able to do or you know that you're able to feel but nobody really knows your struggle behind closed doors nobody knows that whatever you're leading up to has nothing to do with building a foundation um, whether it be lonely sad um, you know the ebb and flows of life going through it and also when it comes to the two of cups you know um any kind of um partnership mutual attractions or unidentified love but it also could be um when, when it comes to um partnership or whatever it is but you know that's the reason why you have to kind of understand that uh, the feelings the way that you feel it ends this too shall pass tower energy this too shall power pass. The tower energy says, let me look. I'm trying to find it. Hold on one second. Um, where is the tower energy? And these are the quotes that I found when I was studying tarot um, so that I knew that I was getting it right. But it stuck with me. Sometimes you need to tear down the limiting structures you have built for yourself to move forward, rebuild better, stronger, and wiser. And that all comes with three of cups energy. Finding people who complete you, finding situations that complete you, the creativity, the collaborations, the jobs, the relationships, the friendships, those things, people who will support you and not just pull a wool over your head and make you feel irritated. And this maybe home life can't may not be that way. Maybe work life may not be that way. But when you go home, you have something to look forward to. Maybe you need to start going out. Maybe you need to stop thinking about the limited the things that are limiting you and start empowering yourself and not feeling powerless because you have reached re reached a certain um, level of success. You have you are able to go to another job. You just choose to stay there. So you have the power to be able to move forward, to recreate, to do the things that you want to do. But you're the one that's stopping you. And you are the one who feel this way because this person goes home and continues their life. And you look at it as a burden. So you take your work home with you. When, when they get to work to keep themselves busy, they start shit. And then when it comes to the way you feel at home, you're picking apart everything when you should be able to end the things that no longer serve you. And if that means finding a new job, 
And I oh, I want to see if I can find this because I hope it doesn't have any music attached to it. Hold on. Um, it's just basically about if I can find it, a girl doing. Hold on. It was about a girl. Here it is. And this is VXO13. Oh, the, no, the, the person, the original person is the real Veronica. I'm trying to see if you can see it. So this is why, what I mean by this. You see? She gets paid more than I do. You see? And that's about you learning to set boundaries. Whether you whether you say it or not, you're learning to set boundaries. And so that is what I mean when it comes to the work-life boundary. Feeling powerless and angry about certain situations when you're taking on other people's burdens and they trying to make you look bad in the process of you helping them. So it's just a matter of growth that you have to have in regards to whether you're going to use this magician energy to, you know, be yourself and create, right? Or are you going to... And have the power and take action, or are you going to be in your page of wands energy same time with being the magician in page of wands and be able to learn to live in the present moment and not to worry about the past or the future? Because if they get mad at you for not taking on someone else's burdens or someone else's things, then that's on them. It has nothing to do with you. So when it comes to work and evolving, I'm going to pull from the evolution of the soul. And um, first, evolving at home, feeling overwhelmed at home or outside of a situation, feeling overwhelmed like it's, you're just living a facade, um, you need to evolve from that situation. And so the card that comes out is warrior spirit. My niece tells me um, that I have a warrior spirit and to watch out, <laughs> to be careful because Nana Boo's, oh, well, that's my name. There, it's her warrior spirit is going to come out. Relentless commitment to challenges. And it says, approach life as a personal battle here to master the, your forceful nature. And so, again, this is why the universe says that, you know, you have a, rel a relentless commitment to challenges, but the source of light, so it says, source of light and positive to others, achieving personal growth and wisdom. Your inner strength inspires others. So people are, you know, and this is the thing. To those at home, they always feel like you're able to do it because you've been able to do it. But they don't know how that how much that hurts and how much it seems like a fairy tale because you know that you're having a hard time. And so um, it says life balance. So back to balance. Again, this is temperance, having balance. You need to have the balance when it comes to understanding that people are so used to you doing things especially at home, that you either have to set boundaries at home, work, and um, outside of that, friendship-wise, situationship-wise, because people look at you as a source of light, that you have the whole world in your hands, and you're doing, oh, excuse me, you're doing it because you are, you have no other choice. If not me, then who? And that's been your motto. If not me, then, then who? And that's where the balance needs to come out in at. So for the powerless angry, when it comes to the burdens and when it comes to the workplace, I'm pulling from the money deck or the finance deck. I'm not sure what it's called. I'm pulling from here to see what comes out. Because, again, you have to understand that you have to set the boundaries like the lady did in the video. You have to set those boundaries in order to, yeah, there's something better. Um, in order to be appreciated at your work, or there's something better out there for you. The bottom of the deck is designer. So um, it says you're being called to tune into your own individual and 
individuality and express yourself. A career in fashion, art, or any artistic endeavors could be just for you. Create, Get creative with your finances. Perhaps it's time to discover a new talent. And I can't make that up any more than what has come out in the cards. It's time for you to discover a new talent. And that's sometimes where life balance, and I say it work life balance, and this comes out, right? Like balance, it says balancing different elements in life, work hard and play harder men mentality. Meaning that, like I said to you, when you come home, there's other things. So if you feel sad and lonely when it comes to friendships um, and things like that, um, this is not, these aren't the people that you need to have friends with, the people at work, because you need to go home. You need to go home and not talk about work. You need to not talk about work to these people because they really can't understand what you're doing. But you need to also have some type of balance. So once you get home, instead of feeling overwhelmed and going to your room, maybe it's time for you to go out and meet new people who complete you and in just thinking about the wheels going around and also relationships outside of this. You need to go out and enjoy yourself and have fun and figure out a work-life balance in order for you to understand that there's something there that wasn't there before finding other out outlets and so you have to design and create your life when it comes to the things that you need to do and so sometimes that means ascending and so i'm going to pull from the ascendant sorry i know that's all i'm going to pull from the ascendant um oracle deck because the lonely is sad and you know being able to end that energy tower energy tearing down the walls that you have built it says again Sometimes you need to tear down the limiting structures you have built for yourself to move forward, rebuild better, stronger, and wiser because of the fact that this energy will keep you in the room and overwhelmed and feeling either empowered or powerless and so and angry and also irritated. So, oh, um, I forgot to pull the card. When it comes to the tower moments and the loneliness, yep, okay, you have to leadership. You have to take the lead, and um, taking the lead is for you to see the bigger picture, which is a king, uh, king of Wands energy, is to have mental clarity, which is King of Swords energy, and to be disciplined, which is the King of Pentacles, and also have emotional control, which is the King of Cups energy. So you need to have those controls when it comes to um, the leadership energy of you being the one who has the whole world in your hands and all these different emotions. So it says, high influence in business, stepping into a leadership role, you know your value and self-worth. And it says using logic over emotions. I'm just saying, you know, using logic over emotions. The cards that come out when it comes to lonely and sad is contracts. Important legal matters, agreements between two parties, making something official, application, and signatures. So the contracts, setting new contracts, signing new contracts, signing a new uh, structure when it comes to you doing all the work here and feeling like there's a problem or it's time to sign a new contract and find a new different a different position so it says karmic justice justice so the sad and lonely things it says uh wrongs made right you will be vindicated keep what you deserve leadership le learning karmic lessons and so the lessons that you learn i don't necessarily think they're karmic i just think that you have to learn to blossom you have to learn that everything is going to always last forever. You have to be able to move forward. That's where the tower is. That's why the tower comes out right here when it comes to lonely and sad because you got to know how to have that balance in life. And then we have the secrets moving in silence, yes, because you're not going to tell these people, oh, well, I'm finding, I'm looking for another job. No, do your job like that lady did. She did her job. And you know what she said? No, I'm not finished my work. And they were like, oh, well, you normally are finished. Okay, yeah, no. Well, I'm not finished. And then so hidden factors, lack of communication, not having all the facts. So, again, this is balance here. So the karmic energy is balanced, especially when it comes to contracts and knowing your worth and knowing that, you know what, I'm going to move in silence until I find something that's going to, um, you know, justify me either leaving the situation or moving into a better location, if that makes sense. And so you know, the sweet talk, all that stuff is not going to help you. Just know that no matter what you do, there's always something better. There's always something better. And so you don't have any room to compete with anybody or anything. You just have to know that there is balance outside of that. I'm going to pull from the West T deck and see uh, what else we need to look up when it comes to this energy. 
But yeah, you just, you know, at some point, you got to understand that when it comes to, yeah, faking again comes out twice, right? And running, yeah. So you've been dealing with energies, the runner chaser type energy, running away from certain situations, but um, yeah, no facts. So that one said no facts at all, not having, it says secrets. Yeah, hold on. It says secrets, and it says not having all the facts. So again, you need to make sure that this is the way you feel and this is what's happening. You need to meet, you need to understand that being lonely and sad and trying to uh, have some or, or think for someone else is not everything. It says never has the facts, make shit up and lies. So you're being secret because there's been a lot of lies around you, which makes you not trust anybody. Same shit, different day. That's the same thing as the wheel turning, which is the wheel of fortune, the ebb and flows of life. And so same shit, different day. You're tired of dealing with it and you're tired of dealing with acts rich, flosses money and act of, acts fancy shows off etc this is the type of energy that you're tired of and that's what this is the fairy tale life so again you want to have a foundation and basically with this situation that's not um, it's not going to happen because you're constantly um dealing with all of the things and doing things by yourself so that's where you need to understand that it's time for you to start speaking up and figure things out i'm going to pull from the show me deck and uh, basically, everything has already come out when it comes to showing uh, you what you need to know. But if it reiterates, then we're going to go ahead and take it from there and know that this is the read for you. So show me what you need to know. Ouch. My soul's true path. So this is your soul's true path. And why you feel powerless and at the bottom of the deck, a resolution for my go of my goals. And the thing is to stop running from a situation. You got to have leadership. You got to be able to create the things that you want. And I know it's easier said than done, but it starts with a work life balance, right? It starts with a work life balance and also understanding the people that are around you. Three of Cups energy, these are your goals. And also, you to go soul searching to really realize what it is that you're going through and is it worth it? And listen to the sweet talk, but that doesn't mean that it's not going to irritate you. So you got to really figure out what's irritating you. It could be the sweet talk, somebody talking to you and they're doing things, but it could be you avoiding certain situations because you're not ready to take the leave, lead and you're not ready to create the things that you want. And that is life balance that has to happen. It says balance in different elements in life, work hard and play hard mentality, achieving it all in a perfect balance. You don't have that yet. So the resolution to your goals is to ha find balance in a situation. Find balance. Stop running from certain things. Stop listening to people who manipulate you, who constantly manipulate you and make you feel irritated. And I think that is what you need to know in order to get your goals to go to get started. And that's the resolution of your goals. So we did it kind of backwards. And I think that is what you needed to know. So let's go ahead and pull from the four agreements. And I said I was going to... Um, uh, shuffle them and then pull one like this. No, nope, didn't did it come out? No, it didn't come out. Uh, yeah, you know, I just I think that was a really good thing. So, what are your goals? You're going after your goals. I think that's what it is. And so, you are to stop running from the situation that you know you have been. Stop letting people talk you out of or into you changing. And I think that's what the sweet sweet talk is. Um people these these same people or some people could be talking you out of you moving forward and you going after the things that you want and that's where you have to go soul searching and really realize transform your life damn don't take anything personal so when it comes to these people the people at work the people at home and the way that you know the fake the fakeness and things like that it says transform your life and it says when you refuse to take things personally, you avoid many upsets in your life. Your feelings of anger, jealousy, and even your sadness will simply disappear if you don't take things personally. So stop taking things personally about how somebody else is making you feel and live in the present moment. Page of Wands energy, which came out, new idea, excuse me, um, you know, new ideas like excitement and freedom and exploration. Start exploring different things and different outlets. And trying to figure out how to find balance within your life. So your goal is to find balance. And we're going to pull from the crystal deck. And then we're going to let this energy go. Um, the hidden knight. I don't think I've ever had that one. The hidden knight. No, I have never had that one. 
But the hidden night is the heart chakra. Yeah. Um, unconditional love, divine connection, and rejuvenation. You're rejuvenating yourself. And it says, I am filled with universal love and share it freely with others. I am filled with universal love and share it freely with others. And that is a way to transform your life. But your goals are to have balance. And so that is what I see for you. Please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, red hearts, you made it through. Purple hearts, it resonates. Green hearts, you're working on it. Yellow hearts, you rock with me. Got my six, meaning I have my back because I have yours. I love you guys.